What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today I will be showing you guys my digital mock of the Lego Harry Potter 12 Grimmauld place. Uh, so that's uh, Sirius Black's family home. So I will be taking you through some pictures here as I did not construct the mock myself. Um, some of the parts are on the way already, I still need a few. I'm, I'm going to check out which ones I still need. So I hope I will be able to make the mock itself in a few, maybe a few weeks, pro probably something like that. So... Um, but yeah, first of all, um, I wanted to make this mock because, the, as you've seen my latest videos, um, my Diagon Alley has been placed in the city and um, it's placed uh, in a position so that the back of it is open still. So for now I've placed some of those uh, buildings in there, some regular buildings like the Sanctum Sanctorum and stuff. Um, but I want to change that, I want to switch them up and get the uh, uh, 12 Grimmauld plays in there. I would also love to have um, the Leaky Calder in there as well. And then I was still thinking of some other uh, Harry Potter related buildings, which um, are visible to the Muggles then, because it is on the side of the Muggle, uh, Muggle city. So yeah, either way, on the first picture here, you can see the facade of the building, uh, which I've modeled after some pictures uh, from the set, uh, as well as some fan, uh, fan art, uh, like little modeling things that I've saw. So very awesome. Now, the building itself in a movie is supposed to have, I believe, uh, four uh, floors. So now with me, yeah, uh, excluding the basement. So with me, we have the basement, the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor. But there should be a fourth one as well. And of course, the building uh, is a bit more deep in the movies itself. Um, I had to go for a six stud deep version because uh, I only have an eight by 16 base plate in between the Diagon Alley and the, the road base plate. So I really wanted to have a nice building. But I, as you can see, these uh, stairways are sticking out about... I think two or three bricks out, I'm not really sure. So to keep a little bit of a walking space on the sidewalk of the street, because this will overlap the uh, sidewalk of the street, uh, I had to make the building six studs deep, which uh, made it easier to build it myself and a little bit less expensive, but it uh, allowed for um, uh, less details inside. So we'll take a look at that right now. But first, first off, let me show you guys. So we have the classical iconic staircase here with this little uh, raggedy fence here then behind that we have two of the windows for the basement where uh, normally creature should be uh, and his lair or whatever but for now i've opted with a a little bit of a basement uh, with a black chest in there and uh, a red as well so we have a little red in there it's pretty difficult to see in the pictures but either way on the front side as you can see we have the number 12 there uh, now these bricks do not exist so i'm gonna have them printed i'm gonna have two uh, one by one light bluish gray tiles printed by a special company called brick print i'll link those guys in the description um, but either way there i went for those little uh horizontal what is it like uh, brick patterns on the wall then on the second floor we just have the two big windows uh with a balcony but now the special thing with this is which i will be showing you later in this video uh the front facade can open up so the second floor facade can be hinged open which is pretty cool in my opinion so uh I used um, Brickling Studio to design that, so I had a, so I could check out which parts I needed because making some some builds that hinge open and stuff is pretty difficult. Uh, but either way, moving on to the third floor, we have some of the arches uh, which represent the windows or which actually go on the windows of the second floor, and then we have some smaller windows uh, on the third floor here, followed by this uh, broken ledge here on top, the roof ledge there. Uh, in the movie or in the fan, fan uh, model thing I saw, it had this broken broken thing there. So I tried to um, recreate that with just like a, a crooked 1x6 tile there. So it looks like it's a, a broken building. And then on the top we have a, a little chimney there sticking out. And the fun part is you can also take the chimney and just open up the roof as well. So you can look inside the third floor uh, where the bedroom is, Sirius Black's bedroom. Uh, but either way, let's check out the back side here. Uh, as you can see, we have some of the same arches that they used in uh, Diagon Alley. Some of that same style. They use it as well in the Harry Potter buildings, in the, in the Hogwarts buildings and stuff. So pretty cool. Uh, and then you can see here on the bottom, let's start off there. We have the little, uh, little archway. It's very difficult to look inside. I'm going to see if I got some better pics of it. But there we have the black chest um, and the red. And as you can see right here, we have... A row of two by two tiles sticking out now that should be the building should be um, 
put completely on the edge of that base plate and then the other front base plate should be replaced with a road base plate so that's how it should work um, but yeah then we got the entrance hall on the first floor and it's pretty difficult to see as well but it has um, a portrait of uh, Walburga Black in there as well as a, a little mug, <laughs> a mug of mine of the troll leg, the umbrella holder troll leg, which was something I always remembered uh, reading them as a child, found it pretty funny. Uh, but either way, I tried to recreate that. I also have the old school floor in there, so it's pretty difficult to see, but it's a white and um, I believe dark green, I think that color is called dark green, uh, tiled floor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then there is an arch or like a doorway leading to um, this little table here and this table in my imagination should be a lot longer should be able to fit the entire um, order of the phoenix around it so then we have some a uh, few curtains there in uh, dark red as well as a little light there um, so yeah and we also have a tiled wooden floor so pretty cool then uh, moving on to the second floor uh, this is the the lounge area or the, the common room or whatever and in there we have a little red sofa as well dark red sofa uh, we have a grand piano and then we have a uh, fireplace in there as well which could be used as a flue i think i'm not sure if all fireplaces <laughs> can be used as a flue it should be on, in the basement the flue but the lounge has and has a fireplace as well so not sure if that's possible with it but either way so this floor can hinge open which is pretty cool and when you open it up you can look at the front of the the sofa and i really wanted this feature because the building itself will be stuck against the diagon alley with the back so now you can open that up and then you can see this floor and you can also probably see inside of diagon alley which i'm not sure how it's going to work out but we'll see it then but either way when you open up the wall uh you get a bit of a more open feeling you can see the piano better and the uh, uh the sofa as well as this little just like um closet on the wall there with a few bottles of stuff some potions or whatever and a few drawers underneath there so i think that's pretty cool um so yeah that's that moving on to the third floor then uh that's the least special floor in my opinion uh but either way we have a little uh bed there to sleep in because that should represent Sirius blacks and uh bug beaks uh room because in the books he he still owns bug beak after his escape and stuff and so he sleeps in his room uh so that's supposed to be here i'm not sure if bug beak will even fit in there the lego version but either way so that's his bed and on the right side, we do have a little desk as well with some letters on there and a little um, feather to, to write some stuff, uh, to some letters to Harry and stuff. So that's that. Now let's take a look at this other picture again. There you can see that the roof hinges open. So that's pretty cool. I really like that feature. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So that rounds up our Lego Harry Potter 12 Grimmauld Place mock. Now, if you're interested in uh, the instructions, in buying these instructions, they will be available on Rebrickable very soon. I will drop the link below whenever they are available. Uh, but in the meanwhile, if you would like to win these instructions, because I'm doing a little giveaway, uh, I did it on Instagram already, and I'm going to announce the winner soon, probably before this video is uh, uploaded. But either way, if you want to win them uh, on YouTube, I'm going to do the same for the YouTube community here. All you have to do is follow this, uh, follow this account, Brick Sanchez, leave a like on this video and leave a comment um, about the part that you love the most of this build. Uh, and then you have a chance to win the instructions. So uh, I will be announcing the winner soon and uh, good luck to everyone. But either way, that's it, guys. Uh, I will definitely drop another video whenever I'm building this, uh, the, this mock and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.